had a couple of requests to illustrate how to replace the secondary fuel filter on the 67 power stroke. This vehicle came in for some maintenance and I've already gone ahead and completed the maintenance, rotated the tires, checked the brakes, have already replaced that fuel filter and have turned the key on six times each time waiting 10 seconds between key off and then keys on. Let the key on for 10 seconds. Um, that's the first fuel filter you do. The second one is up here. And once you got the key off, um, some of the earlier models, the 11s, have a 7mm bolt holding like a clamp around the fuel filter. This one does not. This is a 2013. Um, and we got two lines here that are connected. We're going to leave those connected. We're going to just disconnect this and disconnect this. Um, what I like to do prior to disconnecting those lines is shove some rags down in here, down here in the, the nooks and crannies, just to catch as much fuel as I can, because, I mean, it is kind of messy. Sometimes it's got a pocket of air and it'll blast all over you. So let me show you how to take this one off. These things move like that, okay? We want to do both at the same time and push. We're pulling this way and pushing it down. So this fuel line is ready to be taken off. So I'm gonna try to do this all with one hand. Pull this line off. Any, any burst of air? Nope, all right. But we got fuel coming out as expected, okay? So I take this line and I go right around my oil fill, just like that. It bends right out of the way, no issues whatsoever. I got a button right here and a button right here. I'm going to push the line on, I'm going to squeeze the button, and I'm going to pull the line off. No big deal. Don't try to pull this anymore. I have had this little port break off, and there's a repair kit that you can get that replaces this um, and that barb. So the next step is we're going to turn the fuel filter counterclockwise until it stops. I can't go no more. Then we're going to wiggle. Wiggle it right out of there. Just like that. You see it's got a little foot on the bottom that indexes it into the cup that it sits in. There's the primary. Okay, our secondary. Got the cap on it. So we're going to go back in the exact same way, I guess for illustration purposes, I can already remove these rags, get them out of the way, filter, reinstalling, okay, so you'll feel it go down in its little bore it was in, and then turn it clockwise, take care of that line, make sure it doesn't get caught. Put it between it here. So as I turn it, it'll move. Okay. Turned it all the way. Go ahead. Clip our line on. Get our line right here. Just going to pull it onto that port. And then, just like that. And give it a shot of brake clean. Get all that a little bit of contaminants that were spilled. Get all that, all that juiciness. The engine's still a little warm, so we'll be able to have this brake clean evaporate very quickly, leaving no uh, any leaks or residue on any of these components. So don't fret, this isn't making a mess. It's actually cleaning it quite well. So, all right, friends and guests and returned viewers, that is how you replace a secondary fuel filter on Ford's awesome 6.7 Power Stroke. Um, 11 through uh, pretty much current model is the exact same way. And the 17s and 18s have a third port right where my finger is and is actually probably easier to pull off than these two lines because it's a, a 
little square clip that comes off and a, just a real soft line to squeeze and it pulls right off. So um, that over here on the, the ones on the 17 and 18 I just told you about is this hose right here. This is the return, return line for the fuel injectors. So they actually, instead of piggyback this, this line, this now goes here and this goes over here to a third port. So just a uh, little something they changed, obviously. Um, uh, between body designs and model years. So, all right, you guys, give me a quick comment in the section below if you guys ever replaced your secondary fuel filter. Don't forget after you're done to turn the key on the exact same uh, fashion as you did or as I did before I replaced this video just so we can prime it and get all the air out. Don't forget to check for leaks and give me a thumbs up. Thanks, guys, for watching. See ya.